The California Rental Assistance Program is here for California landlords and California tenants. The housingiskey.com website is ready for you to apply. So we're going to show you how to apply for California Rental Assistance. We're going to run through the housingiskey.com website, give you some PDFs you can download. So as a California landlord or California tenant, you'll be ready to fill out the application and then stick around to the end because we're going to make sure you know the number to call in case you need any help with the California Rental Assistance Program. Hey there, Christian Walsh, Cobalt Banker, Wire Associates. We're real estate brokers specializing in helping tenants and landlords and buyers and sellers during these crazy days in California and beyond. And we wanted to share this latest update where we show you how to apply for renters assistance in the state of California. By the way, for the most up to the minute information for emergency rental assistance for California landlords and California tenants, make sure you subscribe to this channel. So the California Rental Assistance Program is using funds that were sent to the state of California by the Consolidated Appropriations Act, the very well-named bill that was signed at the end of December that provided stimulus funds of $900 billion. 25 billion went to states and bigger municipalities. California got a total of 2.6 billion. These funds are being distributed now through housingiskey.com and we are going to show you how to apply. So if you're ready, hit that like button and let's get started. It has arrived. We are here to go through the California Rental Assistance Program website. The application is here. So remember what you do is you type in housingiskey.com and it takes you to this website. And we're going to give you a run through right now on what to do as a California landlord or a California tenant. So the very first thing, if you're falling to either of those categories, is you're going to click on California COVID-19 rent relief. And it's going to take you to this page. Here's a very, very important part right here. If you have any questions at all on this, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to call the California COVID-19 rent relief call center and the phone number is right there. You'll see it sprinkled throughout the uh, other pages while you're doing the application, but that's important. So you can jump on there to go ahead and learn more. So let's start. I'm just going to click on I'm a landlord. We're going to dive in. So this is going to talk about eligibility and this is eligibility for landlords and tenants and it shows what a landlord will need right here in order to apply for the program. It includes proof of ownership, a copy of property insurance, a rental agreement for the unit that you're, that you're applying for assistance for. An important point is that the landlord and tenant are going to have to work together on this program. This is not one where, where the, just the landlord can apply and get the assistance or just the tenant, except for one, one small way a tenant can, and we'll share that. But what's handy here is there's a landlord checklist. And when you kick, click on the landlord checklist and download that, it's a PDF that really runs through all the different things you'll need as a landlord and they have one for tenants as well. So make sure you download those. You can get them here from the website. I'm also going to have those down below the video here on YouTube. So you can download those PDFs and take a look. Obviously better to be prepared before you apply, uh, but it will cover those same things when you do the actual application. So we're going to skip here down to the renters and we're going to talk about eligibility. So here's the one way that a tenant can apply if the landlord doesn't cooperate. And that is if the landlord says, no, I'm not going to take 80% of the rent and forgive the other 20%. I'm not going to do it. The tenant can still apply. And what the tenant will get is 25% of monthly rent missed. And what it says here is that the tenant does not need the landlord's help for that. So that's good news. So that is one case where the tenant can apply and get funds without landlord's help. But this next section is very important for renters and landlords. You're going to need this as well because you will need to know if your tenants are eligible. And this is what it talks about is the eligibility 
for the program. And we've talked about this in other videos. Um, essentially, you need COVID-19 hardship and you need to demonstrate that the renter is at risk of homelessness, which could be as simple as the 15 day notice uh, related to non-payment of rent. The third thing is a very important thing, and I've talked about this in other videos, the household income. So the cumulative income for the renters in the unit cannot be more than 80% of the area median income. And there's a link you can click. And if you click that link, and I recommend you do it, uh, tenants and landlords, what it's gonna do is it's gonna take you to this big long PDF document, <laughs> and it explains what that means. It explains the state income limits, and it lists them for all counties. So you're gonna to wanna to scroll through this big old document, read through here. What's important to note is that you have to be considered low income and that's the 80% mark and it'll be in this chart that we get into here. So you can read through all of this tenants and landlords, but there's two important things here. One is, like I said, it has to be the 80% mark, it has to be the low income, and it's also gonna be based on family size. So here's all the California, all 58 of the counties. We'll go to Orange County because that's where I am. And what you're gonna need to do in Orange County is you are going to need to show that your income as a tenant is at the low income level. So the different columns are one person, two people in the house, three, four people in the house. So that would be adults and children in the house that live there full time. So you can see that the low income for a household of four is 102,450. So that's the total income in the house has to add up to less than that in order to qualify for the program. So again, important to check that out. In many cases, people right now who are going through tough times, they're not even come, going to come close to that income. But again, it's important to note. Okay, so let's dive in. So you've determined that you're eligible as a renter. Uh, again, down here they have the renter checklist, which I'll have a link below. Um, the renter has more to do. The tenant has more work to do on this. They're the ones who are going to have to uh, provide income statements, things to show their income was uh, hit by COVID, verify identity. Now note that, that uh, citizenship is not one of the questions on here. Citizenship does not matter to apply for this program. So that's another important thing to note. And below and you'll find underneath the new applicant button for the renter and same thing for the landlord. You can actually download a sample application and start to look at what's required and kind of how the process works. So I encourage you to do that. But here's what's cool. And this is gonna happen for landlords and for uh, renters, you're gonna click on the new applicant button, because this is your first time here, and you get a little quiz. So this is the landlord eligibility quiz. And this will be the same for renters. This first question is an important one. Basically, what it's asking you is if you are in any of these cities, counties, or tribes. If you are located within any of those, and all of Los Angeles is on here, all of San Diego, big counties like Fresno County, San Diego County. So if, you, if your rental property where you live is located in one of those, then you have to answer yes. And if you answer yes, then you pick, and let's say you're in Irvine, it's gonna give you the link for the local program. And what this means is the state received 2.6 billion and some of that went to the whole state for this program, and some of it went to areas of more than 200,000 and different tribal levels. So that's if you are in those areas, then you are going to have to apply to the local program and it'll have a link there. Bear in mind that the application deadlines for these local programs may be in the future or may have already passed. So that's another important thing. Make sure you jump on there and check that out. So we're gonna say no, we're gonna say we are not in one of those areas. And then question two is, do you have tenants who owe back rent from April 1st through March 31st? So the end of this month, I'm shooting this in March. So basically, if any rent was missed in March of 2020, this program won't reimburse a landlord for that. So we're gonna say yes, so that we can do that. Now here's what's interesting. This is, the landlord has to agree here. So to the 80% and to forgive the other 20%. If the landlord doesn't agree, they say no, then they're not eligible for this program. We're gonna say yes, you agree. And then it goes through the checklist again, which you already have on the other PDF. And then you hit apply now. 
and we will do that. So we already created an account. It's a neighborly software. You're gonna have to create an account. It's as simple as an email address and a password. So I was already playing around in here. Basically, you're gonna go into start new application and the landlord and tenant use the same portal. And so if you're a tenant, you start a new tenant application. And if you're a landlord, you start a new landlord application. It's pretty easy to figure that out. And it's as simple to start it. All you do is put in your name. I've already done that. So let me check out, I'll edit an application I started as a landlord. It's pretty basic. You're gonna include some simple landlord information and then you have to upload a W9 landlords and then you're gonna have to put in the tenant information and that's email addresses. So landlords can invite tenants and tenants can invite landlords via email. So that's a, a cool thing about it. So you can uh, help each other out. So if you're a landlord, you wanna encourage your tenants. And if you have more than 10 tenants you're inviting, you can bulk upload. So we won't show you that right now. So that is the landlord side. The landlord's kind of got it easy. <laughs> they have to put in a W-9 and they have to say where they want the money to go and a few other things and they're done. It's the tenants that have to do a lot of the work there. So here's a tenant one. So you can see this is where you have a lot more to input. Uh, first, your eligibility. It's gonna help walk you through uh, to determine whether you're eligible or not. Um, but you got a lot of stuff to put in, tenants. So be prepared. Um, you're gonna have to show uh, past due utility bills if you're asking for utilities. Um, talk about other assistance you've received. So there's quite a bit of, quite a bit of information that's needed. Uh, but it's definitely worth it at the end of the day if a, as a tenant that you get this rental assistance. So this is the system. This is how easy it is to use. I, I am impressed with what they have so far. I highly recommend you tenants and landlords, you apply as soon as possible because once this, these funds are gone, they may have more. There should be more money coming from the most recent uh, American Rescue Plan, but you don't want to wait. You don't want to worry about those funds running out as well. So that is housingiskey.com. Don't forget, more funds may be coming soon. The $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan is providing $21.5 billion of more rental assistance across the nation. So it will most likely replenish the coffers for the statewide and local programs. So make sure you get your applications in now. If you miss out, you may get one more shot, but don't wait. Leave your comments below and let us know if you've applied and how that application went. And let us know if you have any questions. Remember, you can call that special hotline with those questions. We'll also do our best to answer a few below as well. So thank you for tuning in. Remember, subscribe to this channel for the most up-to-the-date information for California landlords and California tenants. This has been Christian Walsh, Cobalt Banker, Wire Associates, and we appreciate you.